Hi, I'm Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. In this video, I'd like to present to you our brand new cross-platform software defined radio front-end application, SDR Connect. SDR Connect is a completely new advanced software defined radio application which is optimized for use with the current range of RSP receivers across multiple operating system platforms. SDR Connect is a highly modular piece of software with a UI that is suited to the wide range of modern computing platforms. I will assume that you have downloaded and installed SDR Connect and your device or devices are connected to your machine. I will also assume that you have no experience using a software defined radio platform for receiving transmissions or any prior experience using our previous software package SDR Uno. But those with prior experience in either or both should feel right at home using SDR Connect. SDR Connect features and functions are unified. You do have the option to dock and undock specific elements of SDR Connect, but for now, I will demonstrate SDR Connect in its default state. Lastly, a vast majority of the naming elements used in SDR Connect carry over from SDR Uno. Searching our application and support catalog in the help section of strplay.com will certainly assist you. We have many videos and application notes available. This will be an ongoing series of videos to help you with all the features and functions that SDR Connect offers. For the latest information, please visit SDRplay.com. Before I begin showing you some of the features and functions that SDR Connect offers, I'd like to go over SDR Connect's hardware and software requirements. What devices are supported? SDR Connect supports all RSPs except for the RSP1. SDR Connect supports the following hardware architectures, X64, ARM64 including Mac M1. SDR Connect supports the following operating systems. Windows 10 and 11 or later, 64-bit only. Linux, Ubuntu, 20.04, x64 or later. SDR Play can make no guarantees for any other flavor of Linux. Mac OS, 10.15 Catalina on x64 and 13.0 on Ventura using an M1. Raspberry Pi, SDR Connect will run on a Raspberry Pi, but the Pi must be a 4B or better, running Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. Android and iOS. Android and iOS will come at a later release. After installing SDR Connect and before launching SDR Connect for the first time, I recommend rebooting your machine. After the machine reboots, double-click the SDR Connect shortcut on your desktop to launch SDR Connect. SDR Connect has three main areas, the left, the upper right, and the lower right. You can adjust the scale of the three by left clicking and holding your mouse on the separator. A double arrow will appear. Drag to adjust. You can also undock and scale the size larger or smaller and rearrange them into different positions on your screen. I will post a full how-to in a future video. On the top of the primary SP is a toolbar. Clicking the right facing triangle will start the SDR Connect stream. This will turn into a red square after the stream is started. Clicking the red square will stop the stream. To the right of the triangle is your device and server connection selection drop down box. Choose your device or server before starting the stream. To the right of the selection drop down menu is a refresh icon. Clicking this icon will refresh devices and servers shown in the list. Click the refresh icon if you have added or removed devices or added or removed servers. To the right of the refresh icon is a plus icon. Clicking the plus icon adds a VRX. Adding a VRX allows you to monitor additional signals within the set sample rate of the RSP. I will post the full how-to in a future video. To the right of the plus icon is the double gear icon. Clicking the double gear icon brings you into the device settings. Within the device settings window, you can adjust the sample rate of the RSP, select the input of the RSP if you're using a multi-input device, you can enable and disable the IFAGC, and to the right of the IFAGC toggle is a gear icon. Clicking the gear icon will display the IFAGC set point settings. IF gain is primarily used to optimize input signal levels to the RSP's analog to digital converter and the IFAGC set point is when action will be taken after the average power level exceeds the set value. Below the IFAGC toggle is the RF gain slider. The RF gain is the primary gain setting for the RSP. 
Below the RF gain slider, you have toggle options for enabling and disabling the BIOS T and enabling and disabling the hardware notch filters. To the right of the double gear icon is a display icon. Clicking the display icon brings you into the primary SP spectrum and waterfall display settings. To the right of the display icon is a magnifying glass icon, one showing a minus and one showing a plus. Clicking these will allow you to zoom in and out of the primary SP spectrum and waterfall display. To the right of the magnifying glass icon is a speaker icon and slider. You can mute and unmute the audio by clicking the speaker icon or adjust the volume by left clicking and holding your mouse on the volume slider and dragging. To the right of the volume control is the spectrum icon. The spectrum icon will toggle showing just the spectrum, just the waterfall, or displaying both. To the right of the spectrum icon is the divided window icon. Clicking this icon will expand or collapse the sidebar shown on the primary SP. The sidebar shows five drop down options. These are labeled control, AGC slash squelch, audio, bands, and options. Specific options can be toggled based on the demodulation mode selected. To the right of the divided window icon is a triple dot icon. Clicking this icon will show options for editing the SDR Connect server list and the SDR Connect about screen. I will post the full how-to in a future video. Below the toolbar icon on the top is the spectrum display, and below the spectrum display is the waterfall display. The spectrum displays the frequency domain and the waterfall displays the time domain. Adjustment options are available by clicking the display icon on the toolbar above or going to the options tab on the sidebar to the right. As I mentioned previously, SDR Connect has three main areas, the left, the upper right, and the lower right. The upper right area displays the auxiliary spectrum and the selection tab on the bottom displays the audio spectrum. The auxiliary spectrum has a toolbar with a monitor icon on top. Clicking the monitor icon brings you into the auxiliary spectrum's display settings. The lower right displays the recorder, and clicking the tab on the bottom displays diversity of reception control. Note, diversity of reception is only supported by the RSP Duo. On the top toolbar, you will see a circle icon. This starts and stops the recording and clicking the gear icon to the right of it displays your recording settings. Let's take SDR Connect for a spin. As I mentioned earlier, there will be a series of videos for SDR Connect, so please check the SDR Play Ham Guides YouTube channel to see the latest videos that I release related to SDR Connect. Deux arbres, hein, avec, avec des poulies, là, tu peux avoir des poulies, là, là, là tu vois, je sais pas, une boutique d'accastillage, là. Une poulie, comme ça, tu. tu... In the 13 colonies, Kilo 2 Bravo, QRZ.
Okay, I hear, I think I hear a Mike Hotel. W4, Kilo Tango, 73, ciao, bye bye. Kilo 2, Whiskey Charlie. K2, K2, give me your call over. Here, Romeo. Kilo 2, please, stand by, stand by. Kilo 2, Kilo 2, K2, give me your call over. Kilo 2, Whiskey Charlie, Kilo 2. Sí, sí. Eh, también en, en el Mediterráneo se estaba quemando un yate. Down and about the tabernacle. Um kind of moving through the book of Leviticus a little bit. And we've seen when God mm -hmm. gives the instructions to Moses, he starts with what is closest to him. And I, for some reason... Anna Hope Corondan, solista oriunda del distrito de Cluj. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. 7-3.